just love how I was like, I'm not going to make a part two. I'm going to just keep going. And then I get cut off and I got to make a part two. Whatever. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so part two, I'm just going to go into the anatomy, the A and P, the anatomy and physiology as follows. You want to know, I, I don't know if I said this or not, or if I got cut off, but I'm going to repeat it just in case. Um, know the path of the blood through the heart, including the valves, and um, whether or not it's oxygenated or deoxygenated. And I got two questions on that, and it wasn't just like, oh, no, you know, if the blood goes to the mitral valve, what is it, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. They asked me, for example, um, if the blood went through the mitral valve, what was the step prior to that? Like, I needed to know that ish front and backwards, and so do you. So I know I got at least two questions on that. You want to know um, the makeup of the lungs and where the oxygen exchange occurs, as well as know the sections of the brains. Of the brains? How many brains you got? <laughs> know the section of the brain and um, what each part, what each lobe is responsible for. Tissue types, where to find them. Um, the digestive system, I remember I struggled with that because when I was taking physiology, my professor was actually sick during that part, the digestive system part, so we had to teach it to ourselves. And I remember getting like at least two questions about it on the T's test, so I was like, Great. So make sure you know pretty much the digestive system in its entirety. You want to know about um, the digestive enzymes, um, where proteins, carbs, and fats are broken down, and where most of the bulk of the nutrients is absorbed. Know those. Um, liver, spleen, pancreas are three favorite. Definitely know which systems they belong to and what they do. Just a basic understanding. Um, and hint, hint, <laughs> they uh, may belong to more than one. Remember that. Um, know the lymph systems and what it accomplishes. You know, like why fluid gets collected through there, you know, when you're sick, blah, blah, blah. Be very familiar with the nervous system. I remember that was a B. <laughs> know pretty much um, what each of it controls and the branches, neurons, all that fun stuff. You want to make sure you understand the structure and the function of the kidney very well. And anatomical um, direction, superior, inferior, proximal, distal, etc. Apply to an example, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Stop saying that. <laughs> You want to know how the thyroid and the parathyroid bleh, parathyroid work together and what they do separately, as well as the immune system. So you want to know like natural versus artificial, active versus passive. Recognize examples of each. They're going to give you an example. You have to pretty much list, oh, it's, it's active, it's natural, blah, blah, blah. And also know the different cells that are involved and what they do. That's pretty much it in regards to the science portion. So make sure you study hard and make sure you, I mean, do I not sound like a broken record yet? Make sure you think positive. <laughs> And um, those YouTube videos, I will I will link them, I promise. Um, super duper helpful. And it's actually been proven that if you listen to the video or you watch the video right before you go to bed, your brain actually processes it and you remember it better. So maybe like late at night before you go to bed, you want to check out a couple science videos. And then you'll be like, whoa, I remember this. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it's supposed to work, so I mean, hey, why not try it? You know what I'm saying? So definitely make sure you study hard and think positive and 
great things are going to happen. I am not worried. I know you got this. I'll make sure I link the list and everything in the description bar. Let me know how you do. Let me know how it goes. Um, good luck with everything. And until the next video, one love.